Perfect. Thank you, Ken. Hope you like this. This is just me trying to answer some of my emails. If you haven't subscribed, it would mean the world to me you do. Um, next one is from Scott. Scott, big fan of your channel. Thank you so much, Scott. Uh, there's a lot of very useful information. That's perfect. Keep it up. I will. Um, question about Cam and lathe turning. Yes, so this is good. Um, Ken, no, sorry, not Ken. Scott, <laughs> sorry, also sent me an image. Boom, 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 let's get that up. Uh, open that image up. So that is a tricky little uh, custom tool here. Um, so a back boring tool uh, that has an insert on it. How would you go about defining this infusion? Um, so let's get into Fusion and let's open up a new document. So if we go into the uh, manufacturer workspace, um, you will, if you remember, that there is a form tool in here. We used that a couple of tools before. But if you hover over it here, Mike Matera's awesome uh, notes comes up and you will see that this is for milling. So it's not, we don't have the capabilities as far as I know right now inside of Fusion to draw up a, a cam um, boring bar per se, but I want to make sure that if we go into tools and sorry, that was me double clicking and we go into um, one of our tools in here, you can define up here um, a, um, this was the tool we drew up the other day for Excel. Um, you can define a, a new turning tool and uh, you get to do different things in here. So be aware of that. You have control over the different inserts. You also have control over the different holders in here. And um, so you can actually go in and do a turning boring bar. And there's a lot of different options in here. It could be like a 15 degree tool, what actually looks pretty close to what you have. Um, but you also have a custom function down here. And now you can actually start playing with a lot of the different things. So you can actually go like minus 20. So I would think, Scott, this is probably your best bet to go in here, define that tool with, you know, whatever uh, your, whatever your specific options are with the specific tools that are in here. There's also custom tools in here that you can, you can go in and you can create with all, you know, turning becomes very specific. What is, what is good and bad, right? So, so I think the diffusion development team are always very, very good at, um, at trying to make everything as easy as possible um, without making it too hard. But when it comes to turning, there is so many different options and inserts and different things in here. So be aware, you can go in and specify your own holder. You can call it your whatever you want um, in here. And uh, and it gives you an opportunity to create this. This is where you, I think you want to look for, for this. Um, and you can get your specific uh, turning tool in there that is now available when you're doing turning. Now it's under Excel. You create your own. All right, Scott, I hope. I hope that was I hope that was useful. Um, it's something that I know that um, that the team is looking to do a lot more of in here. Next week.